Right, so the time is 10 past 10 in the morning. We're at a pub meeting someone who's going to drop us off for the Forest game. Villa are on absolute fire at the minute. We're unbeaten in six. We're scoring goals for fun. Forest are down there and uh, I love the city ground, so it'll be a good one today. Way days are back. Come on, the Villa. We have arrived in Nottingham, Max. Come on then, mate. Thoughts on today? Let's go. I think it's going to... We've been very good recently. Uh, yeah. Coming off uh, last week's win against Luton. What is it? 3-1? Yeah. I feel like... I'm confident today. I feel like it'd be a relaxed game. Am I going to win yet? Oh, we're going to smash it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, the Villa. We're in the pub before the game. What's the score going to be today? 3-0. 3-0 oh, the Villa, yeah? yeah? What are we saying today? 2-0 the Villa. 2-0 the Villa. And uh, where are we finishing at the end of the season? Six. Six. Top six. Four or fifth, yeah. Fourth or fifth? Confident. Up the Villa. How's your chips, mate? Yeah. Here we are by the Trent River. Nice that Larry's fair where the ground is, but I'm a little bit worried just because Forest have got some good home form. I think last season they beat uh, Liverpool, beat Arsenal, and didn't lose many games at home. But realistically, we should be winning today. Uh, yeah, I don't really like Sunday games either. The kickoff times. Uh, this game is supposed to be on a five, uh, three o'clock on a Saturday. I just wish it said on Saturday, but we're here. Come on, the Villa. I know you. Yeah. We've got Unai Emery right there. Go on, Unai. Mate, who did we just see? Oh, we saw Unai Emery. Unai Emery. Yeah, we've got a wave off Unai Emery. Yeah, we've got a thumbs up off Unai Emery. Right, guys, we are here outside the city ground today for the Sunday kickoff for Aston Villa versus Nottingham Forest. Villa are on fire at the minute. Last week, we beat Luton till the week before. We scored eight goals in one week, beating a team in Europe, and we beat West Ham 4 1. Forest haven't won in seven games. Last time they won here at home as well was back in August against Sheffield United. They sit 15th in the league, and I think if there was a few. Um, a few worse teams in the league, they'd be down there, but they're doing all right so far. But Forrest is poor in a form and us playing really well. Realistically, we should be winning convincingly today, but Forrest are quite good at home and we're going to have to lose at some point, so let's hope it's not today. We're here for the away. It's been a while since we went to an away game. It's been four, three weeks since Wolves and we're here outside the city ground. One good atmosphere, one a good game, and we're going to win. 2 0 up the villa. We've got Finn and Charlie here today. What's the score going to be today? What's going to happen? 2-0 Villa. 2-0 the Villa, yeah. Who's going to score the goal? Watkins and Diaby. Watkins and Diaby. What are we saying today? 3-1 Villa. 3-1 the Villa, yeah. And... It's going to be Cash, Diaby and Watkins. And uh, what's going to happen at the end of the season? Are we going to win the conference league? Top four. Top four. Top four. Top four. Conference league top four. Conference league top four. Now, up the Villa. Up the Villa. Here we go. Come on, Villa. 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 Five minutes in, I don't think it was Zaniolo who left his man completely free on the edge of the box. It's a good finish, but it's not a good start. It's not what you need five minutes into a game, going to a place like this. But poor marking, good finish. And it's 1 0 Forest. I know 30 minutes in, it's not a good start to the game. We have come into the game, we didn't start the game very well, but we're moving the ball a little bit better now, but you know, we just need to. Mm. Right, he's offside, thank God. Half time, 1 0 down, not ideal. I think we definitely didn't start the game very well, but we grew into it come the second half. I think the midfield was kind of overrun, and usually Villa want, with our tactics, we want teams to press us, but Forrest is off pressing us, and we can't really deal with it. We like to play around teams, and we haven't done that. Diaby, Watkins, McGinn, the players are usually quite good. Second half prediction. 
Let's do it. Come on. We're gonna win. Let's do it. Come on. The um, players that are usually so good for us haven't been great. Yeah, it's just annoying. The first time ever, I haven't really done that much on the attack, and we have defended pretty well. So, see what happens in the second half. We'll have a bad performance. Two minutes into the second half, and take the home already. We've already conceded. It was an absolute screamer, which we thought Mine has saved from the edge of the box. Someone's had a long shot. Mine has saved it, and then it just goes in the back of the net anyway. Is it poor goalkeeping? Is it a good goal? I don't really know, but, but we're 2 0 down inside the first two minutes, second half. Is there a way back here? I'm not too sure. Look how deep and look how many men like the Forest have on the ball and in the box. We just can't do anything, we create anything, we're just passing around and we just end up passing it backwards. 55 minutes in, we're playing a little bit better in the second half, but look, we can't do anything. We're just deep and the amount of players close to go back, they put defensively they're doing really well, but look they just spray it across. It just keeps going on and on and on and on, we just lose it eventually. Wow, well done Bailey. The compared to the Forest fans have been very loud. Best set of home fans I've seen in a while. They're in Ireland this week. Come on, someone just shoot. Oh. We've actually been quite dominant in the second half. We're just getting the ball in the box. So then we just can't seem to do. I said it was going to be a tough place to come. I said Forest are pretty good at home, but God, we really struggled in the second half and most of the first half. We had a lot of the possession, a lot of the ball, and we just did nothing with it, really. Forest had two chances, they scored two good goals and they sat back, they defended well, they didn't let DRB, Watkins, McGinn into the game at all and it's a deserved win for them really. We just had so much of the ball, so many crosses into the box, so many just crap opportunities that we just did nothing with. The atmosphere from the home fans as well was really, really good, the atmosphere in the away end, not great. But yeah, I mean, we're still fifth in the league. It's not the, it's not the end of the world. There's a lot of Villa fans around us that have been very negative today. And I think it's not as bad as everyone makes out. We weren't absolutely dreadful, but we weren't great either. So we're going to Fulham next week. Should win. But uh, yeah, home that was, it was great. Forest fans, if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe because the channel is 40,000 subs. And see you next week. But uh, yeah, not great today. But uh, it needs to improve and uh, the Villa.